Hey, good afternoon everybody. I wanted to do a video today on the coronavirus and being being a nonprofit where we are focused on uniting and not just uniting the world together, but educating the world and bringing awareness to people all around the world. I I wanted to dive into this topic, and I want people to really think for a little bit, because thinking really isn't that common anymore. People don't think for themselves. Common sense is not really common anymore. And I really want people to stop and think for a moment, right? Or, excuse me, fill with your intuition, right? Your gut instinct, like your grandma used to tell you. Honey, what did your, what did your gut tell you? You know, what, is your, what does your gut tell you? Listen to your gut instinct, honey. Right, your grandma used to tell you that. What do I have? I'm not selling you anything. I have nothing to gain from this. I'm not trying to fuck you over. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I have nothing to gain from this. Okay, so before you just go, <laughs> no, stop and think for a little bit. You know, my high school teacher, out of all the professors and mentors I've had, right, I go back to high school, but my high school teacher used to always say, Dr. Hustle, on the back of that wall behind you, on the back, behind you right now, on that wall, your wall, it says gullible. It says gullible on the back of your wall. And people would turn around and look. Comments, I mean, God, if that was over a decade ago, or that was a long time ago, where we're at now, it's, like I said, common sense is not common anymore. And I wanted to dive into this guy, and I... I've studied psychology and physics my entire life. You know, when I was 16, you know, I, or 15, excuse me, I started to learn from my friend who had his BA or his four-year in psychology, and he taught me everything he knew. And then I went on to learn and study from some of the brightest, you know, doctorates, people that were teaching the doctorates my entire life. And not only do I teach and write about psychology and quantum physics now, I'm also making subliminal messages. For those who don't understand what that is and why I want to take this that way is our brains, right? Our brains are formulated and there's algorithms, right? Our DNA is literally written like computer code. Our minds are literally written like computer code. And these algorithms are paradigms is the proper word. You know, I really don't like to use fancy vocabulary because it's like you're giving nicknames to a bunch of common sense. I'm like, this is your bicep. Why do I need to call it the, you know, give it all these technical names? Just use the bicep. I'm like, the time I, you spend learning all of those fancy vocabulary words, you could have been actually applying and gaining hands-on experience, aka practicality. When I wrote the book of life, 151,000 words, it was all practicality with scientific proof backing up everything I said and research. And these paradigms or these algorithms in your subconscious mind formulate everything in your life, all of your habits, the way, the way you talk, your body language, the way you blink, the way you kiss, the way you breathe when you kiss, the way you walk, the way you dance, the way you work, how confident you are how quick you forgive and let go of something, everything, your eye color, everything starts with these subconscious paradigms and then our body or our thoughts, excuse me, dictate what vibration we're in, right? And now I'm going into the physics side of things. When you stare at the back of somebody's head long enough without even touching them with your physical hand, what happens? When I'm driving and I can focus my energy or or my, my focus on the, someone's car, and they always look back, and they always swerve. Before I go to sleep, I think of somebody I haven't seen in years, and they still message me the next morning. You know, during the moon landing, they would communicate with each other through their thoughts. They practice it. You know, there's cultures or tribes in the world that can still, bef dr just through their dreams, they know what's going to happen the next day. They can communicate with each other around the world just with their thoughts. That's why when you think of somebody, sometimes they call you. Because the physical world isn't an illusion. And I say it all the time. 
this is our thoughts that then dictate the vibration our body is in. Our bodies are a molecular structure that vibrate accordingly to our thoughts. Some of you may, may, not, may need to watch that again. I'm empathetic, guys. I totally understand. Some of you maybe pulled a double shift yesterday. You're a little tired. You're running on coffee. You're just like, what the hell does this have to do with coronavirus? And I'm, about, I'm, I'm, I'm building up to the big, you know, jackpot. And like I said, our thoughts dictate the vibration, our molecular structure, or our body is going to be in. And... How should I put this? So our subconscious mind has 50,000 to 100,000 thoughts formulating through it. And these are all of the paradigms I was talking about. All of these algorithms and codings that are dictating what's manifesting into our phys the physical world. You know, I'm not religious, but like the Bible says, Job, I believe, 225. The thing I fear has come to me, Lord. The thing I was afraid of and despised the most has manifested in my life. And why is he saying this to the Creator, a loving God? Because this is how we were hard-coded. Right? As human, human beings, right? we have, I say it in all my videos, higher faculties, the imagination, perception, willpower, or free will. If you know how to freely think instead of reacting. Perception, imagination, free will, memory, and reason or common sense that none of the other creatures have, right? Your dog's not using perception or memory or, you know, um, willpower or focus, right? The imagine or reason or common sense, right? Now, the other gift we were hard-coded as with human beings is the ability to think. Not just, I mean, not just mental activity, I mean, really think. Some like to call it street smarts, right, street smarts, but we all have it. This is what reason is, this is what thinking is, we all have this ability. And instead of just going through the day and reacting like a wild, you know, goose, you can actually stop and think like a human being. Instead of when you spill coffee and yourself freaking out, you can actually control yourself, stop and think, and decide how you're going to respond. Direct your thoughts, which is going to then control or direct your emotions, your energy and vibration. And the most beautiful thing, even beyond this, you cannot just control and direct your thoughts, a.k.a. your reality and the world you live in, instead of allowing outside the external world to control you like a puppet. It goes even deeper. It goes even deeper what we can do with our creative powers that we were given this is what being created in the Creator's highest image means. We can actually reprogram these paradigms or these algorithms that are completely controlling our life from everything, like I said, our eye colors or the physical world, which responds, like I said, to our thoughts. And the way we kiss, talk, the way we make love, the way we breathe when we make love, how we fight, standards we set in life. We could reprogram these paradigms or algorithms in our subconscious mind through repetition. You know, when we were born as babies, we have an empty subconscious mind to some degree. And it's when we, when I write about it in my book, when you stop and, and analyze all these bullshit beliefs that other insecure adults put in your mind as a teenager or adult, it's liberating. And not only is that liberating, but the fact that through repetition, right, here's, here's another rule, right, this is another memorized, like I said, I don't like to throw a lot of these fancy words or rules at you guys, but 21 days of repetition, you've completely erased and formulate a new paradigm or algorithm in your subconscious mind. And guess what happens? After 21 days, you have this new paradigm, 90 days, you have a completely new reality, and subliminal messages are exactly what I'm talking about that do this. We've all heard of affirmations, right? Most people don't listen to them for 21 days. They gave up and said, this is, you know, hippie bullshit. But when you listen for 21 days, people have changed their eye colors. People have changed their physical features. I make these myself as a subliminal message creator because, I, like I said, I've studied this my entire life. And I've had people with results have wider teeth get a six-pack, 
Some girl who had never played the cello before, I wrote a subliminal affirmation, reprogramming her algorithms to where her teacher, the teacher that's supposed to be critiquing you, was praising her that she sounded like she's played her entire life for a year, the minimum, in just 21 days. And this is, this is the freedom we have to reprogram these subconscious, right, these paradigms. And a lot of people are like, that are using these right now to completely change their reality like I did in my own life are like, man, I hope more people don't figure out about, the, figure out about this, right? But I'm like, I want everybody to know about it. And now a lot of people that are actually thinking and watching... Now, a lot of people that are actually thinking while they watch this are starting to connect the dots, excuse me, and the light bulb is starting to go off. I don't have a lot of light bulbs in this room going off. I need to fix my lighting. But the light bulbs are starting to go off. And I talk about it all the time on social media. Like I said, I like to focus more on the union and the documentaries we do to unite the world together while we work with, you know, tribal leaders, you know, governors in Mexico and, you know, leaders around the world. I like to I like to post more of the positive side, but I also like to expose the corruption because like the quote from I believe it was a, a famous Batman quote, you either die a hero or you live long enough to become the villain. And that is so true because there is no lukewarm. There is no lukewarm. If you're trying to sit in the middle in a lukewarm position, you're a coward and you're going to die on this side. Because you either are destroying life or you're building life. There's no lukewarm. If you're not helping life 100%, 100%, then you're destroying it for selfish gain. And this one family, you could, people can fact check me all day long. I don't pull shit out of my ass. I'm not a sleazy snake salesman. This one family that owns all of the media, one family that owns all of the media, all, and they endorse all of the politicians. Telecom have their pockets deep in George Bush's election. Do you think they don't have their pockets even deeper now? There's one family that owns all of the media, all of the politicians that are bought off. Cowards, right? And then they sit there and bullshit you like they actually care about you. I mean, people wonder why nothing's happened over the last century. And I'm not saying all of them, you know, Abraham Lincoln, John F. Kennedy died you know, calling out the media like I've been doing since I started this nonprofit. There's journalists dying in Europe right now, right and left, exposing this corruption that I'm talking about. And there's one rule of thumb I learned, you know, on the streets, you know, after living in Mexico for a while and gained these street smarts. Nobody just nobody just dies young for no reason. These journalists that are exposing this corruption and are dying for a reason, obviously, and two Two, if someone says something that's not true about you or that's not true at all in life, general rule of thumb, usually people just laugh at them or just walk away. But if there's any form of truth or that person feels threatened, I sometimes wonder, maybe, maybe that person that's feeling threatened, the accuser maybe actually has a point there. Maybe there's something that's bothering that person. And this one family that owns all of the media, all of the politicians, what do they do when they need more oil money? Oh, terrorists. Terrorists attacked us. We need to go to the Middle East and invade for a very long time until we get all of that damn oil. I've talked to Navy SEALs. I've talked to Marines, right and left. Now that people are starting to wake up and become more aware, billions of people are starting to wake up. They don't doubt they agree with me, and I'm not going to repeat any names because I don't want to throw them under the bus. Fact check me again. I talk about it in my book. The Malaysian aircraft. There was, God, there was 11 Pentagon agents on that airplane. Did you ever hear that on the mainstream news owned by this one family? And do you want to know the best part? This one family, they had their names on legal patents for end-of-the-world technology and three other people that were a part of that legal patent, they were on the Malaysian aircraft. So the, this, one fa this one family, right, that owns all of the media, they're on a legal patent with only three other people that are on the Malaysian aircraft. For end of the world, very deadly and powerful, most powerful war technology in the world. And you want to tell me this aircraft with little kids and families, innocent families just disappears? 
Nothing just disappears. You wanna, you wanna take me? Do you want me to take you back to Street Smarts or Common Sense 101? Nothing just that big just disappears. And then the news doesn't talk about this legal patent. Of course not. They own the news. Anyways, now that we've kind of just touched the surface of this psychopathic, power-hungry family just killing innocent children and families right and left where they can fill their pockets even though they already own all the centralized banks in, in, the, in the world, they still want more. And as more people, billions of people are starting to wake up, right? And you could, guys, there's trillions of dollars that are being donated to nonprofits every year. Hundreds of millions, almost a billion people have listened to the love frequencies and diseases, diseases, which I'm about to finish this video on. And other issues are being cured through these love frequencies. They call it the love frequency. Almost a billion people, billions of other people are starting to wake up and do research for themselves and see this family for what they, who they are and what they're really doing and no longer trust them. But unfortunately, if you, there's two emotions in life. There's fear and there's love. And fear comes from ignorance when you don't understand something, right? And understanding, you create love. Like I said earlier in the video, whatever you fear or love is going to come to you. Like Job in the Bible. Once again, I'm not religious, but he said it perfectly. Lord or Creator, what I have feared most has come to me now. What I loathed the most has now come to me. And after studying physics my entire life and psychology that I was just explaining to you guys, which has everything to do with this video, I've learned that the vibration of love that all of the trees and the animals and the plants, the miracle frequency 528 hertz and 432 hertz, is what brought life to this planet. They put, these top scientists put a device into the oil spilled waters of the ocean vibrating on 528 hertz, the miracle frequencies of life. And, and one day the water was cured and sea life came back. <laughs> Hippie bullshit. So the skeptics come along, right? The Hippie bullshit skeptics come along. And they test it. They test it and they try to prove it wrong. But they were mesmerized when they realized it was true. The very skeptics. And you, I go through the YouTube comments and I see these miracle frequencies curing, making people cry. The same vibration that the prophet Jesus used to cure diseases is now at our fingertips. This is why I'm not afraid of no corona bullshit virus. Because I know the power of love. And I know there is nothing I cannot do. Now obviously, you know, I don't have my eye on money. But you too, there's nothing you cannot do. There's nothing you cannot do through the vibration of love. You embrace failure. You love failure. There's nothing that cannot stop you. And this one family, like I said, that owns all of the media in the world, this oil-hungry family, power-hungry family, Malaysian aircraft bombing family, that works alongside and pays off these global politicians, divide and conquer, divide and conquer, guys. If the, if the masses are divided, <laughs> God, you bet they can conquer us. But as billions of people, especially younger generations, are uniting together through the Internet and social media, and people are waking up and becoming awakened to these love frequencies and who they truly are on the inside, you know, this one family is becoming desperate. And this one family, guys, you don't think they understand how the algorithms in our brains work? The algorithms of our children's brains? Do you want to know something as a YouTube creator? YouTube is not allowed to pay out content creators who are making content for children. This one family is finally realizing, despite how delusional they are, that they are shit compared to YouTube and that their power over the minds of our children, 
they're losing that power. They're losing the power of these algorithms and paradigms that I talked about. And what happens when the news, right, this one family propagates a so-called virus, and not everyone, but a lot of the masses still believe what they put out. What did I just say? Whatever you believe, good or bad, it's going to come into your life. This is why the most powerful... I've, I've worked with people that are flipping 15, 25, 30 million dollar houses in Scottsdale. There's a reason why they hide in the hills. They stay away from the masses. There's a reason why they're always so vibrant and healthy. They understand everything I just talked about when it comes to the vibration of love and frequencies and how the mind works. They understand this shit. You think the law of attraction is amazing? There's 11 more uni universal laws that th these people all understand. And this one family uses it for their own selfish gain, right? They work alongside these psychopathic pharmaceutical companies that every single year, hundreds of pharmaceutical companies and busts are happening. They're the most greedy and lucrative industry in the entire world. This, this is why I call it dark psychology. You go to school for four years to learn how to write as many problems as possible and fill as many dollars and prescriptions as possible for four years when you go to college for dark psychology. Right? The more money they can make, the more problems they have, the more money these people can make. And what happens? What just happened? The entire stock market, holy shit, it fucking plummeted. It, it, it was almost like 2008. And who, who gains from this? Maybe the one family that owns all of the banks? The most power hungry and greedy family in the world? Why? Why don't we propagate out of a make-believe virus and, oh, billions of people that still believe us? Guess what's going to happen? And now our pharmaceutical co This is why naturopath... i got to work alongside a naturopath, two naturopath doctors, very brilliant men. Both have their MBADs and degrees off the wall. Very brilliant men. And this is why naturopaths like themselves... Are, it's, it's, it's a trillion-dollar industry now, and it's going way up because people are starting to wake up. You know? And this is why when you meet these millionaires and billionaires, some of the most powerful people, they're always so calm, they're always so happy because they've learned how the mind works. They've learned what stress can do. they learned what the subconscious mind can do. Like I said, guys, I have nothing to gain from this video. I really don't. And sometimes I question... But like I said, guys, I started from pushing in carts and cleaning toilets. You know, jerking off every day to porn and all that other bullshit that, you know, teenagers go through. I was not always where I'm at in life. And this is the only reason I still make these videos to reach out. And at the end of the day, guys, believe what you want to believe. Like I said, like my old high school professor used to say, guys, on the back of your wall, <laughs> right, right, seriously, on the back of your wall where you're sitting, it says gullible. And... Do the research for yourself, guys. The subconscious mind is the most beautiful thing. The algorithms that I talked about, energy and physics. I wish you all the very best. May this video, like I said, bring some more awareness to what's really happening right now. And may billions of more people continue to awaken. I mean, like I said, guys... The amount of good, a.k.a. love or understanding that's happening in this world is amazing. But why would this one family, like I said, want to lose that power? Why would they? But either way they are. Either way they are. And I wish you all the very best.